Hi everyone, my name is Ariana and you are watching Disney Channel. And I'm Jim. And you're watching... Nice work, pal. So, you went out to an event tonight while I, I was did. hard at work. I did. I was trying to win you a Disney trip. Well, where did you go? I went to the WBMW Disney giveaway where I was qualified to win a trip to Disney and me and several hundred other people competed to see who won the big prize. So, let's take a look and see what happened. So today, I'm here at Mohegan Sun for the WBMW Disney Giveaway Party, where they're giving away a trip to Walt Disney World. All month long, they've been taking callers, and if you're the 10th caller, you uh, win an entry into this contest. And uh, at the end of the month, today, uh, you get to go to the party. And that's where they're gonna draw the lucky winner. Now. The odds are probably still against me, but there's probably only a couple hundred people that have qualified to win, so I like those odds. So WBMW holds this contest almost every year, and I've qualified several times over the last few years. I don't believe they had it last year because of the pandemic, but the year before that, uh, the party was also held here at Game On, and needless to say, I didn't win but I'm willing to give it another try. So all I had to do tonight was put my name and phone number into uh, the drawing bucket and uh, my number will get pulled at the end of the night, right? We'll see. Uh, in the meantime, I also got this, uh, this raffle ticket and they're gonna give away some other prizes as well. In 2019, I had actually won a couple tickets to Dark Manor while I was here. Didn't win the grand prize, but I didn't go home empty handed. Game On is a restaurant slash arcade. Uh, reminds me a lot of Dave & Buster's. So as I walk around and watch the competition come in, I notice the bar has a pretty good selection of drinks. So to uh, help pass the time, I got myself a Shipyard Pumpkin Head Ale. So I'm sure if Ariano had been here with me tonight, we would have been in for some games and probably some food. Uh, but because it's just me, uh, I'm gonna wait out this party in, in my usual cheap fashion and try not to spend too much money and just wait for my name to be called. Who wants to win a trip to Disney World any day? One more time. All right, so what do you say we get a trip to Disney, huh? How many people here have been to Disney already? Who wants to go again? All right. So again, I want to remind you, after we give away this Disney trip, I still have more prizes to give away. So if you want to stick around for a little bit after, I've got more prizes, okay? And lots of prizes. But it is time for our grand prize show. John, would you like to do the honors? Take it. John, 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 John. That's what they say at the clubs every night. Get in there good. Yeah, now you're throwing Might stuff around. Bottom. Come on. Make some up good. Make some up really, really good. See, we're making this legit, alright? Yeah, I got my glasses on so I can see. There's a lot, a lot of qualifiers here tonight. So we're ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Here is the winner, the Nelson. Just in case it's a hard name, I'll let him do it. Nikki Anderson! Nikki Anderson, where are you? There you are, Nikki Anderson. The sheet actually said John Smith. I don't know what he was. No, I'm kidding. Nikki, you're Nikki. Nikki, you just want a trip to Walt Disney World. 
All right, so how do you feel? Uh, defeated, dejected, um, alone and afraid. Um, I did not win. It was terrible. Uh, but this is probably the fifth time I haven't won this contest. I'll still keep trying. They do this almost every year, and like I've said many times, the odds, once you're in the party, are pretty good as far as sweepstakes go. Um, so, that being said, um, I didn't win, but I do like a good sweepstakes. Um, do we know anyone who's won a trip to Disney World? Hmm. 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 We're going to get into that in a future episode, probably uh, in a, maybe a couple of weeks. But um, in the meantime, one place I like to go for uh, uh, sweepstakes, if you, if you like to enter those sorts of things, is mousesavers.com. Um, it's a website that covers all things uh, about saving money for Disney. Uh, but if you go to mousesavers.com and click on freebies, then you can click on their sweepstakes. And they always have five or six uh, sweepstakes where you can um, sign up with an email address or whatever. But it's the vetted ones. It's the, the, the good ones. The ones through Disney or Southwest or uh, the Orlando Tourism Board. Uh, so it's, it's the ones that are legit. Um, so that's what I like to do, but in the meantime, in a couple of weeks, I, as I mentioned, we'll talk about, um, a trip we went on where, uh, we won a trip to Disney World. Um, but first, we're going on a road trip. We are going on a road trip. We're going to upstate New York, where we're going to visit Molly, and, uh, we're going to spend the weekend, uh, up at her college, and, um... We're going to talk Disney with Molly, uh, so that'll be uh, that'll be the next thing. We'll take you on our road trip to upstate New York. Yeah, Molly's really into pin trading. She really likes rides. She's a big Disney fan. She'll have a lot to say. So how do you feel about your odds for next year? Do you think you'll win? I mean, you think you'll lose six times in a row? <laughs> I probably will lose six times in a row. I will probably lose ten times in a row. Um, but so I'm, come back in four years. I'm going to try to find to see. ten things to lose ten years in a row. And maybe one of them will hit. Okay. That's the goal. So it never hurts to try. And we're going to talk about why in a future episode. In the meantime, look forward to our road trip. And we'll see you real soon. Nice work, pal. Nice work, pal. Wait, what am I supposed to do? You're going to ask me about like where I'm going tonight. Okay. Alright. So. Where do you go? I'm going to have to pay for my vacations like a chunk. I'm here in the karaoke room. It's like $40 an hour and you get the room to yourself to sing to your heart's content. No, I don't care. 